The stethoscope is probably one of the most iconic symbols of a doctor, and particularly in general practice. And it's been pretty much the same since its inception. There's been a few adjustments and things to make them more effective, lighter, more useful. But can we make them better? Well, in this episode, I'm going to show you how adding a couple of new tech touches to a stethoscope can enhance the type of equipment that we use, and more importantly, possibly revolutionize healthcare. Maybe it's time that we retire the standard stethoscope. Shall we find out? Let's tech enhance your primary care and learning. If this is the first time we're meeting, I'm Dr. Gandalf of EGP Learning, where I look at supporting you with technology enhanced primary care and learning. And in this episode, I'm gonna be talking about different stethoscopes and particularly one that I've been using for the past few weeks that has been game changing. It is so amazing how much difference I've seen with this one change of equipment. And I'm gonna talk about the Echo Core 2 Bluetooth stethoscope and how it's been a revolution, to be honest, in terms of what I've been using in practice. Shall we begin? So EGP learners, we've all used stethoscopes out in general practice. It's, you know, this is my own stethoscope that I've had for almost 15 years now, and it, it works, let's be honest. It does an amazing job, it lets me listen to people's hearts, lets me listen to people's lungs, and it lets me listen to various other parts like their stomach and things and it's reliable and it does the job. I love it, have done so for a while. I've used various other ones over that time and I've got different ones for my visit bag as well. I currently have the Lippmann Classic 2 and that's the one I've had for almost 15 years. In my visit bag, I've got an MDF Ultra one and I've also got a spare one, which is a Lippmann Classic 3, I think the cardiology version. So I like my stethoscopes. And I've even tried some digital ones in the past and they've been okay. They've had some really awesome features that I think have been useful, but never one that I've wanted to stick with. And that's because despite being effective and having additional things, they've never just made me feel good. But recently I was sent a stethoscope by a company called Redmore Health, who are the current UK suppliers for the Echo Core and the Echo Duo which are stethoscopes made by a company called Echo Health. And some of you may have heard about these stethoscopes or seen them being used, particularly in our post-COVID world. And over the past few weeks, to be honest, it's been amazing how much difference these things have made. Shall we have a look at one? So this is the Echo Core 2 stethoscope. And some of you may have seen my unboxing video about this piece of kit recently. And it's pretty identical. I mean, let's compare it to Michael Lippmann. They're pretty, in fact, they're the same length. Um, the core is a little bit heavier and you'll see why in a second. The tubing is a little bit thicker on the core, but the top parts in terms of the ear pieces and stuff, pretty similar. And the, the heads of the stethoscopes themselves are pretty same width and things, so identical. The Echo is broader at the end and clearly it has this additional little piece of kit here. So this Bluetooth element's right here that clearly makes a difference. And it's this that we're gonna talk about. So this attachment allows you to do two key things that this stethoscope can do that other stethoscopes can't. So number one, it allows for active noise cancelling. And any of you that have used noise cancelling headphones will know what I'm talking about. But effectively, it uses small microphones to cancel out the ambient sound to give you a purer, cleaner sound. And the best way I can describe this to you is it's like watching HDTV and then going back to standard definition. That's the difference that you get with using this kind of stethoscope with it activated compared to when you don't have it activated. And let's be clear, this works as a perfectly normal standard stethoscope if you don't switch it on. When you do switch it on, as I said, you get the active noise cancelling, the sound is purer, cleaner, and so much more focused and amplified. So if you are hard of hearing, this can significantly change the way that you can hear things. And I must admit, I was surprised at how much purer that sound seemed to be. I've been able to pick up more nuanced sounds when I've been listening to people's chests. And in terms of listening through clothing, I've even tried that. And I must admit, I can't notice a difference through small elements of clothing when I've used, got, using the active noise cancelling compared to when I'm not using it. And that's obviously a difference compared to when I use my bog standard stethoscope. The other thing this has is it allows the Bluetooth attachment to work. Now, they kind of say that if you want to stick Bluetooth on anything nowadays, 
And on a stethoscope, what kind of benefit would that be? Well, it's interesting because by having this Bluetooth on, you can transmit the sound from this stethoscope to any other electronic device. Clearly it needs to be in range of the Bluetooth, but it works and it works so easily. In fact, I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So as you can see on the background, I've got the Echo software downloaded on the computer. I'm gonna switch it on. So to switch it on, you just simply press the button. And as you can see, it's now got a light that starts flashing and that activates the stethoscope. It's searching for my computer. So let's activate the software, Echo devices. It's already found my stethoscope. I'm gonna click yes. And it clicks to the core. And as you can see, we've now got an audio waveform that you can see. So if I tap on it, Clearly that's having some sound coming through. Let's put it on my chest. And you can see a waveform even coming through my clothing in terms of what you would be able to hear. Now unfortunately the reason you guys can't hear this is because of the base elements of the sound that a stethoscope has. Unfortunately that doesn't transmit through a normal speaker and particularly the speakers that we have on NHS computers. If you use a pair of headphones, you'll hear this through the computer. If you have decent speakers, you know, we're talking ones with good amounts of bass and according to the company goes down to 20 kilohertz you need to use. Then actually you will be able to hear this through a speaker and that can clearly be useful. But the other added benefit is this allows you to record the sound and you can use that in various other ways. For example, in teaching, for example, in terms of referral and you can even transmit the sound through live streaming technology to another place. And the reason why that's useful is for visiting. So one of the key challenges we've had recently is post-COVID, trying to assess patients safely and effectively. And by transmitting the sound through a stethoscope like this, you can actually enable the patient or a carer for the patient, and particularly in situations like nursing homes, to use the stethoscope around the patient without the clinician physically having to be there. And then that means there's a better safety element for clinicians. As well as for the patient, it's the benefit of reducing the risk to other people and contact with other people that they may not want to have. Yes, it requires appropriate placement. Could you do this through things like video consultations? Possibly. And I think particularly for care homes, that could be a really useful opportunity for primary care and particularly networks to consider in terms of giving one of these to each care home. And then when there is a need for a visit, you could dial in and instruct the staff of where to place the stethoscope so that you can then have a listen to the patient's chest or heart to have information about the clinical situation. And you get really clear sound. I cannot describe how amazingly different the sound has been with this particular device. And that's it really. It works as simple as that. The device itself works easily. It does require charge to use the Bluetooth and amplification elements, and that's through a micro USB that you can see here. It's also got plus and minus for enhancing the sound even more, so turning up the volume and then turning down the volume, etc. In terms of charging, within about 30 minutes, it's got more than enough charge. And actually on the software, it also tells you the battery level as well. I think it would be nice if there's a battery level indicator on the device itself, that would be useful. And I must admit an additional feature I would love to see is actually a cap for the micro USB port, particularly recently with seeing patients um, in practice, having to clean it down and stuff. I guess I'd just be worried about getting any contents like alcohol solution and stuff into the port itself. So I have had to be careful around that. And just having a simple little plastic co coating on top would be quite useful. The device does come with normal diaphragm on both sides, so um, adult and pediatric version, and it does also come with an additional head for a bell to put attached onto the base, um, and it works. If you did want to stick with your own stethoscope for, you know, if you've got your personal one that you like and stuff, you can get an attachment where you just get this part, pull off the head of your stethoscope, stick the attachment in, and then it converts your existing stethoscope into a Bluetooth and noise cancelling version and this stethoscope also has a big brother and that's called the Echo Duo. So that's an enhanced version that only, not only has the noise cancelling and the Bluetooth element but it also lets you do a 2 lead ECG kind of like the live core cardio device that many practices have been using recently. And guess what? I've got one right here. But I'm afraid I'm not going to open it for you just yet but you can see it comes in a really nice looking box. 
just there. So this just arrived this morning. I'm going to be having a look at this and unboxing it soon for you guys and then showing you what I think about it a little bit later on. So if you do want to check that out, feel free to check the review then. But would I recommend this stethoscope? Honestly, absolutely. It is, and it does come at cost. So one of these devices costs about £209 if you buy it through Redmore Health, and that's the UK pricing, because unfortunately that you can't buy it direct from Echo themselves, and that's because Redmore are their supplier here in the UK. And is that a lot of money? Well, for a stethoscope, yes. You can buy things like the Lippmann Classic version 2 for roughly about £70, £80. Pounds. You can buy an MDF-1 Ultra for about £50-odd, pounds. And you can buy much higher class Littmans for typically about 120, 150 odd pounds, depending on where you buy them or what time you buy them. So it is more expensive than a standard stethoscope. Does the enhanced cost make it worth it? And does the enhanced function make it worth it? I think if you've got any hearing challenges, the enhanced audio you get through the noise amplification is an absolute godsend. And I've tried this with my trainees and other clinicians in practice, literally, the realization they have when they listen with this device is significant. You cannot, like I said, the only way I can describe it to people that haven't done this is like watching HD and then saying, go back to standard definition. There is that much difference. I do feel the Bluetooth elements are a massive boon in terms of helping practices and networks when it comes to visiting. And particularly in the COVID environment, I've known many people have innovated with how they use this with assessing patients in CMC clinics to try and improve safety. But also, I do feel that this is particularly going to be useful moving forward for many networks for doing their care home elements and also help to make sure that patients get appropriate visits when they need them and clinical support and supervision. So definitely, I would recommend this. I think as an individual clinician, if you're not doing those kind of things, having it for yourself it may not be something that you want specifically, particularly if the hearing issues aren't a, a challenge for you because actually the other ones offer you probably more cost effectiveness. But I think if you've got the money, if you've got the need, this is hands down one of the best Bluetooth stethoscopes I've come across. And if you compare that to other versions, so there is the Lippmann um, uh, Bluetooth stethoscopes. I must admit the noise amplification and changes I've seen compared to those, this is far superior. There is the Think Labs one, which is a specific Bluetooth stethoscope. Um, smaller device, it doesn't have the tubing. In fact, you have to use that with headphones, etc. My only issue with the Think Labs one is the fact that it does require it to be constantly charged, where this one will still work as a normal stethoscope if and if the Bluetooth element and the noise cancelling element isn't working. So I think this definitely pips it and it's considerably cheaper. The Think Labs goes for approximately £500. So I definitely recommend considering this, particularly if you like your tech, particularly if you've got hearing challenges, and particularly if you're looking at innovating the way that you do your visits, especially for the care home environment. If you are interested, check out the link that comes up right here, where you can obtain the device through Redmore Health here in the UK. Alternately, you could try and get it from the Echo Health website in America, but be aware you may end up having to pay extra charges in VAT and shipping because it is a device that will be shipped from America if you buy it direct. I'd love to know what you think, EGP learners. Is this something you'd be interested in? Leave a comment down below and let me know. If you are interested, check out the unboxing video of the Echo Core that's available right here. And if you're watching a little bit later on, you may see my review of the Echo Core Duo right here. And I'm sure YouTube is recommending another video to you, probably about here and stuff. And as always, if you've got any comments or questions, let me know. Subscribe, ring the bell, and as always, EGP Learning is here to help save you and your patients time by tech enhancing your primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.